Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number, and today we're going to take a look at how to adjust the value of your reference line using a parameter. When would you need that? Well, suppose we're in a situation like this one, right? So we're looking at which subcategories exceeded our sales target of 110% of prior year sales. So this is pretty cool. We can see that all the kind of purpley colors did exceed, but the peachy colors did not. Okay, that's cool. But what happens if we're in a situation where actually we need that to be dynamic, right? Perhaps we don't know what the sales target is, or perhaps we don't need it to be hard coded. Um, we're just interested in trying to work out which exceeded 105% or 110%, 115%. Our end user needs to be able to interact with that number, right? And we want the view to update and change. In that case, we're going to throw a parameter in there and we're going to update that, uh, that reference line to something like this. Where now, just by clicking through, you can see the view is changing and the reference lines are moving and the graphs are changing color. I mean, the bars are changing color. So that's what we're going to build now. If you want to just download the workbook, it's available in, this, in the description below for my Tableau Public. If you want to start from scratch and follow along, you're welcome to too. I'm just using Sample Superstore. Okay, so let's start a new worksheet uh, and just good old category and subcategory. Set your fit to entire view. And let's start by creating a sales for 2023 field. So sales 2023, and we're going to say something like, if the year of order date is equal to 2023, then sales end. And so now Tableau is just going to search through all the rows, find which one have a year of order date of 2023, and give me those sales values, meaning that now I've got 2023 sales. Perfect. So let's set our little sales target, right? Now, I think 10% more is fine. So let's do sales target for 2023 is going to basically be last year's sales. So order date equals 2022, then sales. So this is going to return last year's sales, but now we want to increase that by 10%. So let's throw that whole thing in parentheses and times it by 1.1, right? That 10% increase. Okay, perfect. And now what we want to do is to throw this into our reference line. So let's drop the sales target field onto detail. Okay, so here's the thing. Whenever you create a reference line, the field that you want to use as the reference line, right? The numeric field you want to use as your reference line has to be in your view. If we right click in the access right now and add a reference line, that sum of sales target 2023 is not available to me simply because it's not in the view. So super important. It's got to be in your view. The best place to add that, I think the simplest place to add that is just drop it onto detail. It does nothing, but here it is available to us. Okay, so let's add a reference line now. Let's add it per cell. Why per cell? Because we want it for each bar. And let's change the value to sum of sales target. Average, max, min, it doesn't change anything, right? Uh, because the when we're aggregating a single number, we're just returning the single number. So I don't need a label either. I think it's just taking up too much space. And the last change that I'm going to do is just raise you know, this opacity so that we can see exactly where that reference line is. Okay, so that should be perfectly fine. Let's hit OK. And now we've got our 10% increase. But now we're going to make this dynamic. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Here's the magic, right? We're going to create a parameter and throw this in. But if this kind of thing is interesting to you and you want to learn some more about Tableau, why not come and take a course with us? We've got Tableau courses ranging from courses for complete beginners. You, you really just want to get up to speed with the fundamentals of Tableau all the way through to super advanced courses for those of you who've been using Tableau for a while and some specialist courses like uh, we'll cover, you know, some advanced reference lines and LODs and parameters in a course called Mastering Tableau Calculations 2. So do come and check out our courses over the, over the summer. Uh, we're super excited for, for all of those and we're, we hope to have you there. Okay, so let's make this parameter. We'll hit the drop down, we'll create a parameter and uh, you can kind of call this whatever you want, but maybe we just call this ref line power. <laughs> Save time. We'll set our display format as percentage, uh, just so that it's super clear what's going on. Uh, the display format doesn't matter too much, but it's nice for the end user to see what's going on. Our data type is going to be float. Float just means we can select any number, in, you know, 
between whole numbers and including whole numbers. Here's the thing, we're going to set a range now. Um, and we're going to set it between 1 and 2. Our step size is going to be 0 0.01, meaning you can, we're going to increase this in steps of 1%. And that should be completely fine. Right now, our current value is 1. If you want, we wanted to set the current value to 10%, uh, 110%, um, we could just throw that in there. And I think that that's all good. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's hit OK and let's crack open our sum of sales target for 2023. And now we're just going to take out that hard coded value and drop in our, oop, not that, our ref line power. And Tableau's happy. That should be totally fine. Nothing's changed. Why? Because we set our current value to 10%. So let's just display the parameter and see what's going on right now. Moment of truth. We're clicking down and we've got success. Okay, beautiful. So the parameter is working, but what about getting some of those dynamic colors in, right? So that we're trying to help our end users easily identify which values have exceeded or not exceeded the sales target. We're gonna create another calculated field um, and we'll call this exceeded sales target, question mark. We're going to say, did the sum of sales 2023 exceed or equal the sum of sales target for 2023? Cool. And all we got to do now is throw that on color. Nice. Maybe we choose some, you know, interesting colors. False, sad, true blue, true blue, baby. Okay, that's fine. That's in there. And now as we kind of click through, you'll see some of those bars change in color, which is super cool. And maybe the last thing we can do is change our title just to reflect that uh, parameter change. So maybe we should say, I'm trying to remember what I said in the last one, which subcategories exceeded last year's sales, exceeded, um, oh yeah, the sales target of, and now let's insert the parameter. Where is it? With line power. Sales target of 122% of prior year sales or something like that. You know. Okay. And now that is a fully dynamic worksheet based on our parameter. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully that's given you another little idea or insight in how to use reference lines in your views. If you've got any questions, throw them into the comments below. I'd be so happy to get back to you. And if you've got any ideas or, uh, you know, for future videos or questions that you'd like us to address in future videos, feel free to throw those down in the comments too. We're so appreciate those and we really do our best to get back to them. All right, until next one, keep well. Thanks so much for joining.